Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cheetah hubcap reflector to uh, make more efficient use of your umbrellas with your flash photography. This is a 12 inch reflector. It comes with a Bowen mount. This is the only mount we sell this particular reflector in. And you can buy it from us with holes for the Godox 8600 or with a hole for our Speed Pro S bracket which also fits the Godox uh, S bracket or you can buy it without any holes. And we'll have a separate video that shows you how to put holes in it to fit your particular flash if, ne if necessary. Okay, we're going to take a look at some photos that show examples of the hubcap in use and explain why it's so much better. Okay, let's take a look at the light from an, say an AD200 with no modifiers at all. As we can see in this picture, the light kind of goes everywhere and there's a lot of light behind the, uh, the flash as well. Now if we take and we put that light in an umbrella we can see that that light that was coming out the back still continues to come out the back. So this is wasted light. We're filling the umbrella nicely but we're also wasting a lot of the power of the flash which means we need a more powerful flash to accomplish the same task. Okay so let's put a 7 inch reflector on this light and see what happens. Now you can see the light is all directed forward so we're not wasting any light. However when we put this 7 inch umbrella or 7 inch uh, reflector in an umbrella we can see that if we position the umbrella close into the light that most of the light is in the center of the umbrella so we're wasting the diffusion material of the umbrella. It's, it's just not being used at all. So what we have to do is we have to push the umbrella out away from the reflector. Now we can fill the, the umbrella, but what happens is that we've, we're, we've put a lot of weight on the shaft of that umbrella because we've had to extend it almost completely out. Now if you put a large umbrella here, you may not be able to push it out far enough for the light to fill the umbrella. So now again, we're wasting the umbrella. There's no point in having a big umbrella if we can't fill it with light. Now let's look at the light from the hubcap. Notice the nice even spread of light and it's all directed up and forward basically in the shape of an umbrella. Now when you put an umbrella on this light you can see the umbrella does not have to be positioned far from the light to have it filled with the light from the flash. So our shaft is safe, the umbrella is nice and tight but we're using all of our diffusion material. Okay, so just a quick summary. Here's a picture that shows all three situations in different views. You can see them from a front view and from a side view. And you see the, uh, the uh, umbrella, I'm sorry, the hubcap is in the center. It's filling the umbrella, yet the umbrella is close in to the light. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Explain some things about the hubcap and so that you can find it useful in your photography. Thanks for shopping with Cheetah Stand.